Hi, I'm Sean with Steamboat Springs Boat Rentals at Stagecoach Marina. Thanks for choosing us for your boat rental needs. Today I'm going to go over operations of one of our pontoon rentals. This here is one of our 2023 models. It is exactly the same as our last year's models. So first we like to have all of our customers come by. Uh, we let them inspect the propellers. So we Props can... in brand new condition. And the best way to ensure that is just to stay 100 feet from any shoreline and 100 yards from the inlet, which is located on the south side of the lake here. Second thing here is going to be the doors. There are two doors on the back of the pontoons and one here. So to operate these doors, you have to lift on the hinge side only and they'll open every time. If you try to open on the other side, it just binds. So before we step on the boat here, we just wanna go over one of our major uh, issues and rules on the lake. We don't want anybody on the bow of the boat, which is this front part, anything in front of the seating or the railing of the boat. So we don't want anybody standing here at any time. Just for safety reasons, we don't want anybody going underneath the boat. We'll come on board here and we'll cover things on the front, moving our way back. So first off, safety wise, all of our life jackets are gonna be on the right side of the boat. These seats on all of our boats, you lift up from this side here, pull straight back, and you'll see there's gonna be 10 life jackets on every boat. Anybody 13 years or of age or younger will have to have a life jacket on at all times, and we can fit them before you guys get on here. These are just for mainly the adults on the boat. The other thing up here on the front of the boat is the grill. All of our boats do come equipped with the grill. As you can see, it um, comes with a cleaning brush. And the biggest thing is we will have the propane off, which the tank is right down here. You'll just have to turn the tank on before grilling. And then the igniter's here. But if it does not want to ignite, just because you know it's a grill and sometimes they don't want to, we will always have a lighter located on the boat. And then next will be the safety equipment. All the safety equipment for the operation of the boat other than life jackets will be located right here next to the captain. So we have our throwable life preserver, our emergency throw rope, and we do ask that you don't open these or use these um, for any kind of activity other than emergencies. Behind the throwable here, as you can see, is a fire extinguisher. And then we also have the paddle. So the controls of the boat. This is your trim button. Uh, once we have you inspect the propeller, we'll go ahead and lower that all the way down. Once it's lowered all the way down, we ask that you don't mess with that button. Um, with that being said, with the trim all the way down, we ask you to stay 100 feet from shore, anywhere on the lake, and 100 yards from the inlet, just because there may be um, obstacles or rocks within that 100 feet. So as long as you stay that 100 feet away from shore, you'll never have to worry about it. So to start the boat, it does have to be in neutral. All our boats are the same. There'll be that little spot right there in the middle. You'll feel it, that's neutral. And you just turn the key. So at any time in your operations of the boat, there's a safety switch right here that's on a lanyard. If this is not engaged, it will kill the boat. So if this got pulled at any time, the motor's gonna shut off. So you gotta make sure, and it's pretty tough, so you shouldn't have to worry about it, but if it does, that's gonna be your issue. So once the boat started, to go forward is literally, forward is forward, back is reverse. So to go forward, that's forward, back to neutral and you can hear it engage, that's reverse. Again, you can hear it engage in a neutral. All of your other controls are gonna be located in this dashboard area here. So your horn here, this is, uh, it says pump, that's your live well pump. If you kick that on, as you can see, as you walk towards the back of the boat, the live well pump comes on and that'll circulate water. The next button is the radio. Once you push that button, it'll engage the power to the radio. And we suggest, if you're out here at Stagecoach with us, uh, save music on your phone's probably best, just because we don't have cell phone service out here or it's gonna be just strictly radio. Uh, the rest of these lights here, we won't have to worry about during daytime. These are all navigational lights. Last but not least uh, is gonna be our map. Every boat we have, um, we have a map. And all the things I just went over will be on the backside just for your reference. But mainly the map here is gonna show you where the wake zones and no wake zones are. So all the striped areas are gonna be no wake zones. And this open area is gonna be the wake zone. The wake zone, you can go as fast as you'd like. The only rule is just go counterclockwise on the lake. No wake zones, there are no counterclockwise rules. You just have to go five miles an hour or less, or simply look behind the boat. If you're making a V, you're making a wake. So all the wake zones from located from our marina here, 
You're gonna see white buoys that lay out across the lake here. It's, it may be tough to see on the video here, but we will go over this when you're out here with us. There, we are in a no wake zone. Just on the other side of those buoys is the wake zone. And then where those houses are over there on the shore, you can kind of see, starts another no, no wake zone. And then to the right here or to the south, is gonna be the biggest part of the lake that's no wake zone, which is almost half of the south part of the lake. And there's one more cove just on the other side of this hill that you can't see that's also a no wake zone. Again, thanks for choosing Steamboat Springs Boat Rentals at Stagecoach Marina, and we'll see you soon out here at the lake.